Hey guys, so it is week four of the I Love Me challenge and um, this week's challenge is not so general, it's slightly more specific. Um, but I wanted to set this challenge because this is going to be aimed at the people that I wanted to do this challenge for. And if you remember that like, when I first did this, my first video of this year, it was basically saying that I wanted to help people who may have suffered from depression, anxiety, um, self-esteem issues, confidence issues, all of those kind of things. And um, what I wanted to do is to just put out a video that kind of gives a little bit of an insight into what people might be feeling. Um, I have to say, like I've said before, I am not medically trained, I certainly can't diagnose anybody, but all I can do is talk from the heart and then give from my life experiences. And um, I know that with people who suffer from depression or anxiety or any issue, to be honest, may not look like they have anything wrong, but inside they could be hurting so badly. And normally most people, you know, may change in very slight ways that certain people, I guess the people that are closest to you might notice, but most people wouldn't know that there was anything wrong. And I think sometimes that is almost part of the problem because when you're suffering sort of with a, you know feeling low or whatever your thing is it can be really hard to talk to somebody but if you do talk to someone you hope it will make you feel better but in turn sometimes people don't understand depression or anxiety they may have never experienced them themselves they may have never been around someone that they know um, that suffered with that and because people don't understand things, as a, in general, we tend not to deal with them because we don't understand them and that doesn't really help the person who might be suffering. And when you feel like you actually were brave enough to go and talk to someone and then it didn't really go how you wanted it to, it can kind of start this whole horrible spiral of I'm on my own and I feel isolated and that is the most horrible feeling to ever feel. So part of the challenge that I wanted to set up was to give people the option to know that there's other people out there who might be going through the same thing um, and also to help bring people back out, you know, so you might be at your rock bottom and I would love to be able to help people to just see, at least see the light at the end of the tunnel and then I would love to help get people on their way to that light. And then hopefully they will come out so much more happy and you know even if I can help one person that would be amazing but the challenge this week was to acknowledge what is going on in your life now it might be depression it might just be that I don't know you might have a bit of a body confidence issue but it's to acknowledge it and to know that actually it is okay it doesn't have to be taboo it doesn't have to be you know hidden it doesn't have to be um, not spoken about but by acknowledging things, even if you acknowledge it just to yourself, um, even better if you can get someone else to acknowledge it, you know, it could be a friend or a family member, a doctor, or me, you know, there are ways of contacting me. Um, it just gives your brain that different way of thinking and it might make you think, right, we've acknowledged that there's something going on, so what are we gonna do next? And that will be your, you know, your stepping stone to getting to the next step. Now that might take a day or so, it might take weeks, months, even a year, but you will get there. And the one thing that I can promise all of you that are in a, not a nice place right now is it does get better. And I know it's so cliche that people say that, but I promise it does. And even though you might feel like absolute crap right now, it will get better. And there will be days where you don't feel crap and then those days will become weeks and months and so on. So um, I really, really want people to acknowledge what's going on in their life, acknowledge how you're feeling and acknowledge how, how maybe you think you would like to be, you know, how you would like to not feel so low or you would like to not feel so bad about your body or, you know, anything. So acknowledge your own issue as such and then from there you can take the next step. So um, I know that with um, depression and things it's really hard to talk to people sometimes or anxiety or any of it really because like I said people don't always understand but also it's really difficult for you as the individual to understand as well because 
it's not the easiest of things to go through and I think sometimes we don't understand in our heads why we're feeling like that because I know I'm generally a happy person but when you feel really low or you feel really angry I don't really know what to do with that because I don't get it I don't know why it was there I don't know how to deal with it because I'm not used to it so the whole thing is a learning experience as well as like an emotional experience so by acknowledging that it kind of gives your brain a new way of thinking and then hopefully we can go forward so that is this week's challenge I hope that it does make sense to you and I know that this may not I guess appeal or um, apply to everybody but you may know someone who might benefit from this video so if you do please do share it and um, you know just help anybody you can and um, there'll be plenty more challenges throughout the year so I hope you guys are all doing really well I hope you're keeping up with your challenges adding glamour into your life putting things in your jar um, and I really look forward to seeing you next week so have a great week and I'll see you all soon Bye.